Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to visually organize your calendar to make it easier for you to see what's going on and who you're dealing with. We're going to do this with color coding using conditional formatting. So you can do this with your appointments, your meetings, and you can do it based upon the sender, the location, or whether the appointment is set up as busy, free, or out of office. As you can see with my calendar, I've already set up the conditional formatting, but I'm going to walk you through the steps to do this. So let me switch it back. As you can see, the calendar looks a lot different when you don't have the conditional formatting or the color coding in it. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do that. What you want to do is make sure you're in your calendar. We're going to come over to View. And from here, we're going to go to the View Settings. When you click on View Settings, it's going to bring up the Advanced View Settings calendar. We're going to come down to Conditional Formatting and click on it. It's going to open up the Conditional Formatting dialog box. And from here, we're going to add our formatting. So we're going to click the Add button. And the first one I want to do is for my department meetings. Now, as soon as you click Add, it's going to do a checkbox and say Untitled. I want to do this for all department information. So I'm going to name this Department. You can name them whatever you want. Then I'm going to choose my color. So I'm going to click the drop down next to color and pick a color for it. Now I'm going to click on the condition box so I can go in and tell it exactly what I want to do it based upon. Now for mine, I make it pretty simple. I'm doing it based upon words within my subject field. So I'm going to type in department. Now if I wanted to, I can say who organized it or I can do it by attendees. So if I have a department meeting and I have it broken out into different attendees, I can break it out into two different colors and make it as detailed as I want. I could come in also and click more choices. I could come to advanced and click on fields and set it up as detailed as I want. I'm going to keep it simple here. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK on this. Click OK again and OK one more time. Now you can see all of my department meetings are color coded based upon the color I set. So that's how you do it. Let's go ahead and do another one. So again, view, view settings, conditional formatting, add, give it a name, set the color, and set your condition. Everything for Flintstone, I want a specific color so when I look at my calendar, I can see what I've got going on monthly, weekly, daily for this subject. Say OK. Say OK. OK. And now you can see it's set up the Flintstone meetings that way as well. So you can continue on and do this for all your different meetings and make it much easier to see what's going on. Now, if you decide that you need to change something or you don't want something color coded any longer, come back up. Remember, it's the View tab, View Settings, Conditional Formatting. And now I can highlight one and I can delete it or I can turn it off. Say OK. And now it turned it off while I'm looking at it. If I don't want it any longer in here, come back in and just go ahead and delete it. That's how simple it is. I want to show you one last thing about this. When you're going in and setting up your conditional formatting with color coding, you can prioritize the colors. So for instance, on here, I've got my weekly department meeting, which I've color coded based upon department, and I've got an attendee. Vicki Bisbach. Now, if I wanted to see where on my calendar I've got meetings with Vicki, I can also come in and color code that. So again, view, view settings, conditional formatting. So I'm going to add one. I'm going to call it Vicki. Pick my color. And I'm going to tell it it's based upon the um, attendee. Say OK. 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 Now you'll notice I've got a weekly meeting and Vicki's an attendee here, but it didn't change the color. So if I come out here and set up now a meeting with Vicki, create a new meeting, you 
you'll see it comes up with the color that I set. However, I've got a department meeting with Vicki over here and it didn't change the color. And that's because it's set up by priority. It's going to go down the list and set the conditional formatting based upon the list. So when I come out here and I look at my view settings, conditional formatting, it's going to go out and it's going to look for everything with department in it first and set the color code. Then it's going to go down to the next conditional formatting and pick Vicky and set conditional formatting based upon that. But it's going to skip over department because it's already set up formatting based upon that. So if I move Vicky up, say OK, say OK, it's going to change them to purple. So keep in mind the order that you set your conditional formatting at is going to determine what color things are. So if I want to make sure all my department meetings or all my department information is set up one way, I will come in here and I will make that a priority. And now it's changed it back. If you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments below. If you found this video to be informational and valuable to you, please like, and please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.